Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 29th of 2020. Well, it is titled Earth during a total solar eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, we'll see an image of the Earth as we set off the image and take a look at begin to take a look at it. And it will start off at nighttime. And then what you will see is the shadow moving from the across from right to left as the sun rises and brings a day to the world. So you will begin by seeing that and then you will see shortly after the eclipse shadow of a the, the shadow of the moon moving across from left to right and you'll see that starting over towards the left hand side and then moving across South America in the center and then disappearing off the right at the end of the video. So we can play the video and you will see that very quickly as we start at nighttime and then quickly it becomes day. And then as the daylight begins to get to the edge, you'll see very quickly that there's the rapidly moving shadow of the moon will move across the bottom there and the lower part of South America across Chile and Argentina. Now this is a total solar eclipse and this is what happens when the moon passes directly in between Earth and our sun. And what happens in those cases is that the shadow of our moon then lands on the Earth and if you were standing on the Earth in that shadow it will then block out the sunlight. So if you are in that shadow you would be seeing a total solar eclipse and that's why you have to be in a very specific location you can see the size of our moon's shadow and it's not very large it doesn't cover all of South America only a small portion of it will be able to see the total solar eclipse and in fact if you were in North America you would have not have seen any eclipse at all you never would have noticed the moon passing in front of the sun because of the positioning in that case you can have the moon will generally be either too far above or below the sun in order for you to be able to see the eclipse. So m most locations will not be able to see that eclipse. It takes a very precise alignment. And we don't get this all the time because the moon's orbit is tilted a little bit relative to the plane defined by the Earth and the sun. And because of that, the moon will generally pass either above or below these uh, below over below the sun as it passes through so we don't get eclipses that often and when they do they only occur in very specific areas so sometimes they'll occur in uh, men in different areas in this case it was South America just a few years ago we have one that tracked across North America and others will go across Africa Asia Europe Australia it just depends on the exact positioning and the timing as to when that will occur her. So here we get to see that video showing the shadow of the moon moving quickly across the Earth during the total solar eclipse that occurred just a couple of weeks ago. So that was our picture of the day for December the 29th of 2020. It was titled Earth during a total solar eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be planets dance. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.